morning dear students today as a part of our online class we are going to take the or discuss the first unit of 7th standard english the name of our unit is nature is plenty nature is plenty what is the meaning of plenty yes plenty means enough or abundant we know uh, we uh, there is everything in nature for us for our needs not for our greeds understand here in this first unit first we have a uh, newspaper report take page number 8 and uh, read that newspaper report slowly it's very simple it's a, about a girl named suryamani who is a natural lover read that piece of newspaper report and understand what it says it's very simple to understand and uh, after that you can uh, you can uh, see a uh, activity there and uh, i could see i could hear i could smell etc what what if you visit a uh, you are going a natural walk that means you are going to visit a forest what do, what do you see there you can see uh, for example big trees and uh, something like that if you visit a place like a forest you can what what are the things you see you can uh, write it under i could see section and after that i could hear what what do you hear from the forest uh, here there is an example the chirping of a bird chirping of a bird means the sound of sounds made by birds and uh, like that you can make so many words chirping of birds uh, sound of wind etc you can add and uh, the next section i could smell what you can smell from a forest you can smell the fragrance of flowers or like that uh, anything like that you can uh, write down there now let's come to our topic let's come to our main activity that is a story a short story written by ruskin bond have you heard of ruskin bond a famous indian writer you take page number 12 in page number 12 you can see the profile of uh, mr ruskin bond you know he is an indian writer who writes in english he was born in 1934 you can simply read it and understand it's very simple okay then now let's come to our topic her name of the story is how far is the river how far is the river where is the river where uh, where oh, how far is to the river the, uh, here in this story the boy sets out a journey sets out a journey he starts a journey to appreciate the beauty of nature to understand the beauty of the nature okay here let's come to our topic how far is the river by ruskin bond here a boy sets out a journey to appreciate or to understand appreciate means to understand the beauty of nature here uh, where does he go what does he see there and uh, how does he feel everything let's find out everything through this story okay listen the first paragraph between the boy and the river stood a mountain the boy was young and the river was small but the mountain was big i think you understood between the boy and the river stood a mountain between the boy and the river there is a mountain 
the boy is very young and the river also very small comparing the big mountain understand okay the thickly forested mountain hit the river we cannot see the river from from outside the mountain because the mountain is thickly forested thickly forested means it's full of trees like that it's a wide forest understand but the boy knew it was there the boy can uh, the boy understand the boy know that the forest is there uh, near the forest he had never seen the river with his own eyes he had never seen the river he didn't went uh, he didn't go to the river before but he know the river is there <coughs> but from the villages he had heard of it from the people around him he knew about uh, he knew about the river he knew that this uh, the river is full of fish in its waters and of its rocks is the uh, river has rocks in it fishes he wishes to touch the water and know it personally he wishes the he wishes that means he wants to go the river and touch its water and feel feel the uh, cold of that water anyway he stood in front of his house on the hill opposite the mountain he stood in front of his house on the hill opposite the mountain he stood in he stood before his house his house where is his house it is opposite the mountain and gazed across the valley dreaming of the river and he gazed gazed means he uh, looked he looked across the valley dreaming of the river uh, dreaming about the river he want to go the river is very keen to watch that river to so he dreams about that river he was about 12 years old the boy is about 12 years old <coughs> <coughs> he is a sturdy boy what is sturdy sturdy you know what is sturdy sturdy he is a sturdy boy sturdy boy means strong strong with a strong body his strong physique sturdy means strong he say strong boy that means his body is very strong and uh, with untied untidy black hair and shining black eyes his hair was untidy and its color was black and uh, his uh, shining black eyes his eyes also black and shining he had fine features and a clear brown skin his features his features means his shape is very fine very good shape good looking boy and uh, a clear brown skin his skin color is brown but his hands and feet were rough and scratched but his hands and uh, uh, feet were rough and scratched scratched means you understand yeah yes, yes. scratched means dividing in a churinya pole ullathu okay anyway he was barefooted he was barefooted barefooted means without footwear without chappal not because he could not afford shoes he was uh, barefooted not because he is not afford shoes that means his uh, 
rich enough to buy shoes he has shoes or chapels but now he didn't wear any shoes but because he liked the feel of warm stones and cool grass yes why he avoided shoes because he want to feel the warm stones and uh, cool grass the warmth of the stones and the coolness of the grass while while uh, walking anyway it was 11 o'clock and he knew his parents wouldn't return home till evening it was <coughs> it was 11 o'clock time is 11 o'clock and he knew his parents wouldn't return home till evening he know that his parents don't come in his house before evening why there was uh, there was a loaf of bread he could take with him and uh, he thought about a loaf of bread he could take to go to the river loaf of bread a piece of bread and on the way he might find some fruits he think that uh, he may get some fruits on his way to the river here was here was the opportunity he awaited for and he what what he was waiting he want to go to the river he got that golden opportunity to go to the river his mother and father had gone to visit relatives for the entire day and had left him on his own his mother and father went to uh visit his relatives and he is alone at home now he so it is a golden opportunity to go to the river to watch the river he came home uh, if he came home before dark before they returned they wouldn't know where he had been you understand that if he came back after visiting the river before uh, their pa- his parents come so they don't know they don't understand where he go he went into the house and wrapped the loaf in a newspaper and uh, so he decided to go to the river he wrapped the loaf of bread in a newspaper then he closed all the doors and windows understand yes the path to the river dropped steeply into the valley the path to the river dropped steeply into the valley the uh, path to the river the way to the river was very steep steep means kuttane ullad valare kuttane ulladayirunnu then rose and went around the big mountain then it also rose rise അത് പിന്നെ ഉയർന്ന് വന്നു റൗണ്ട് ദി ബിഗ് മൗണ്ടൻ ഇറ്റ് വാസ് ഫ്രീക്വൻ്റ്ലി യൂസ്ഡ് ബൈ ദി വില്ലേജസ് ദീസ് ദിസ് പാത്ത് ദിസ് വേ ദിസ് ഓൾ വി ക്യാൻ സേ ദിസ് സ്മോൾ റോഡ് ഇസ് ഫ്രീക്വൻ്റ്ലി യൂസ്ഡ് ബൈ ദി വില്ലേജസ് വുഡ് കട്ടേഴ്സ് മിൽക്ക് മെൻ ആൻഡ് മ്യൂൾ ഡ്രൈവേഴ്സ് ദിസ് പാത്ത് ഈസ് യൂസ്ഡ് ബൈ ദി ദിസ് കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് പീപ്പിൾ the people of that village and uh, the wood cutters who is wood cutter those who cut wood and the milkman and the mule drivers mule drivers means mule is a kind of mule what is mule mule is a kind of holes a kind of holes holes or a donkey <coughs> but there was no village villages be 
beyond the mountain. There is no villages beyond the mountain. On the top of the mountain, there is no village or near the river or near the river. The boy passed a woodcutter and asked him how far it was to the river. The boy passed a woodcutter and asked him how far it was to the river. When the boy going to the river, he passed a woodcutter and he asked him how far is to the river. The woodcutter was a short but powerful man. The woodcutter was a short. Short means small or weyarangor and a powerful man with a creased and weathered face. A creased. Creased means uh, we can say creased face means uh, chulinya. Chulinya mugatinana. Creased face. Nubar. And weathered face. Weathered means Oh, that's also like that Karivalicha uh, Nagaparile. That's weathered face. And muscles that stood out in heart. His muscles, like a gym, gy, very highly gymnasious, and uh, it stood out in heart, ugly limbs. Understand? Oh, it uh, looks like a ugly. Oh, ugly means it's not. Uh, good to see uh, some awkwardness feels there seven miles he said which was fairly accurate why do you want to know he said uh, the uh, boy asked the this woodcutter how far is the river he replied that to river uh, there is seven miles distance and the boy <coughs> asked him again uh, sorry the woodcutter asked him why do you want to know why do you want to know the distance to the river I am going to the river said the boy the boy said I am going to the river alone you are going alone of course the boy replied of course of course means Yes, surely, but it is too far, the woodcutters told him, but it is too far, the river is too far, it will take you three hours to reach there, you will take three hours to reach there, and then you, you have to come back, after that, after reaching the river, you have to come back, it will be getting dark when you are coming back, the it will be getting dark the sun may go it will be dark besides it was not an easy road not only that the road to the river is the path to the river is not a easy it's very dangerous way dangerous path but i am a good walker said the boy though he had never walked further than a, the mile from his house to his school but I am a good walker the boy uh, said to the said to the woodcutter that he is a good walker he, actually the boy didn't even walk more than a mile uh, that is that is to to his school <coughs> the path was steep and the boy had to run most of the time. The path was very steep, very deep. And uh, the boy had to run most of the time. Because of the steepness, he, want, uh, he can't stop like walking. He always, uh, what we say, he always running through the steep. It was a dizzy, winding path and he slipped once or twice it was a dizzy winding path the path was very dizzy and winding there is uh, some kind of uh, what we say and he slipped 
once or twice more than one times he slipped slipped or he fall the hell was covered uh, sorry the hill was covered with lush green ferns the hill that mountain that hill was covered with uh, lush green ferns A fern means ferns what is ferns 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 means a kind of grass ferns is a kind of grass the hill was covered with lush green ferns very uh, lush lush means very or oh, full of or uh, what we say nirach nirach etram pulvargam valarnu nilkunnadayirunnu a mountain and uh, the trees were wound in creepers the trees were wound in creepers the uh, the trees in the mountain wound wound means murivelka engine in creepers creepers means uh, kind of valli valli oke chittittu maram ingane marathinoke endha parayu ingane murivetathu kandittilla engale angane marathil chutti nilkunna valligal okke ulladan and the great wild dahlia suddenly reared its golden head from the leaves and ferns suddenly a golden hut of a wild dahlia rise from the grass or uh, from the ferns a kind of dahlia it's a kind of flower that raised that flowered okay soon the boy was in the valley and the path straightened out and rose soon the boy was in the valley and the path straightened out and rose soon the boy was in the valley and the path straightened out and rose the path became uh, high he met a girl who was coming from the opposite direction this time the boy met a girl she was coming from his opposite direction she had a long curved knife with a which she had been cutting grass she had a long curved knife with her like that we can say sickle arival adu pole oru oru aayudha avalude kayil undayirunnu what is it used to cut the trees the bangles she wore made music when she moved her hands the bangles she wore made music when she moved her hands while she moving her uh, bangles on her hands moved so it made some sounds the hands and it was as though the hands spoke a language of their own we while we watching it we can think that uh, her bangles are speaking a language of their own how far is it to the river asked the boy the boy the boy asked the girl how far is the river the girl had obviously never been to the river the girl didn't go to the river or she may have been thinking of another one she may be thinking of another river she don't know where is the river because she said that's why she said the boy 20 miles how much 20 miles without any hesitation without any doubt she told the boy it is uh, 20 miles away the boy laughed and ran down the path the boy understand it is uh, not right so he laughed and ran out of her sight 
a parrot suddenly screeched this time a parrot screeched made some sound on his head flew low over his head it flew over his head a flash of red and green what is the color of that parrot red and green you all see that you can know you understand what is the color of parrot anyway a parrot flew there the bird disappeared amongst the tree the the bird disappeared amongst the tree the bird disappeared anywhere through the trees through the forest a trickle of water came from the hillside and the boy stopped to drink the water was cold and sharp a trickle of water in endha paraya nammade ee paarada kedai kude vellam verle adinaanu parayunnad appo oru vellam ingane aa kunnin cherivilude ingane oornu varunnund a pa uh, and the boy stopped to drink he wanted to drink that water so he stopped the water was cold and sharp that water was very cold and sharp sharp means very clear but very refreshing but after uh, drinking the water the boy became very refreshed however it seemed to have the effect of making him more thirsty however it seemed to have the effect of making him more thirsty while he drank that water he became more thirsty the sun was striking his side of the hill the, stri- uh, the sun was uh, at its peak or it may be noon time and the dusty path became hotter the path the way became very grew hotter the stones scorching the boy's feet the stones in the path scorching scorching means pullik his feet he was sure he had gone half way he is very sure that he has uh, passed half of his way he had walked for over an hour now he from his house he walked more than an hour presently he saw another boy ahead of him driving a few goats down the path now he saw another boy a shepherd boy a, he was uh, he, uh, driving a few goats with him how far is the river he asked he asked the boy the shepherd boy how far is the river the village boy smiled in a friendly way and said the village boy smiled in a friendly way very friendly smilingly the village boy said oh not far it is not far just round the next hill and straight down after next hill you pass the next hill it's there the boy feeling hungry unwrapped his loaf of bread and broke it, it in halves the boy became very hungry and he, so he uh, what we say he unwrapped the loaf of bread that piece of bread and uh, broke into half he separated the uh, bread into two pieces offering one portion to the village boy and uh, he gave the one portion of that bread to the village boy okay the boy uh, unwrapped the bread and gave one portion to the stud- uh, to the shepherd boy and they ate it they sat on the hillside and ate in silence they sat on the hillside and ate in silence okay today we can stop sina for the day have a nice day thank you